All right, guys, Coach Peter over here. I hope you're doing well. Um, we're going to talk about some of the fundamentals today of the approach shot and um, the importance of, of, you know, you always hear coaches saying approach down the line, approach down the line because it closes the angle, never approach the net cross court. Um, I'm going to show you exactly why and then I'm going to give you one or two more tips on the short ball coming forward after that. So obviously the first reason why you want to approach down the line is because you're going to approach down the line and then you're going to cut off the angle for your opponent so he doesn't have a lot of angle to pass you. So that's the long and the short of it. But what I want to do is I want you guys to see it. So I'm going to approach a ball down the line towards the camera and then I want you to imagine that you are standing there and you're trying to pass me and then I'm going to, sh I'm going to do one cross court and then I actually want you to see the different angles, how much more angle there is from your point of view when you are down the line and when you are cross court. Okay, so camera can go a little bit further back. Let me just grab two, two, two or three balls here. So I'm going to approach down the line and I'm going to follow the ball. I'm going to follow the ball to my target area. That's where you're standing right now as the camera and then I'm going to show you the angle. So if I approach down the line there and I follow my ball, okay, your options are so much less to pass me because now I'm here, I'm cutting off the angle. I can reach all the way there if you go down the line. And if I have a good split step and I'm in time and you go cross court, I can reach all the way there. So really your angle and your, your area that you can pass me is so much smaller. So always approach down the line. Okay guys, now you move over to the cross court area. So as you can see, we've shifted the camera now. Uh, to cross court so you are the opponent again I'm going to approach cross court and notice if you're if you're intermediate player or even advanced you'll see the big difference you'll see the space and the area you have to hit if I go cross court so I'm going to hit the ball towards the camera cross court approach okay now I'm going to try and follow the ball notice how especially all the way if you had to hit the ball down the line notice how how big your angle is for you to hit I mean, even if I, even if I step over there, you still have that whole area there to pass me on that side. And you also have so much more angle on the other side. Okay, guys, I hope you can really see that when you approach cross court, you're setting your, yourself up for disaster because the, the court is so big from that angle. Okay, so I just wanted to show you why you always hear approach down the line. Um, so you have a practical idea of what it looks like and what the reason is. Um, so guys, approach down the line, it's a lot easier for you to win the points, a lot easier to close the court. Um, and then the extra bonus tip I want to give you guys, um, remember, when you approach the net, um, you're not thinking winner, you're thinking approach. Okay, a lot of players make the mistake, they're trying to come forward, and they're trying to hit a winner, and they don't need to hit a winner. All they need to do is place the ball, set up the ball, set up the point to finish the point on the next ball. Okay, so stay far away from trying to blast the ball um, down the line for a winner. Remember, think approach shot, think setting up. Wait for the volley so you can put it away. Okay, however, if you get a very easy short ball and you, you are sure that you're going to go for a winner, that is a good time to go cross court. Okay, because if you go cross court and it's a winner, it's over. So you're going to go a little bit bigger when you're attacking the ball for a winner. And that's when you want to go cross court because the court's bigger, there's more space, then you can go for a winner. But then you must be sure it's a winner, otherwise you're going to find yourself in trouble. Okay guys, hope that helps. Approach down the line, doesn't have to be a winner. If you go cross court, make sure it has to be a winner. Okay guys, I'll see you for my next video. And uh, like, subscribe. My next video is going to be on the kick serve. Once again, one or two tips. And um, thanks for all the support.